So we've started getting a bit of style into our rather ugly web page, quite frankly, but I'm sure you're going to do a lot better. What I want to show you now is how CSS can be used to shift things around the screen. So what we've got here is we've got this image that's up above the anchor here and the paragraph below. Now, if I want to, I can shift that image so that the text starts to flow around it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the image here. And because I only want it to apply to this image, I don't want it to do it to all the images in my document. I can put in a class on the image, just like we did with the paragraph. Or if it really is just one thing on the page, I can use ID. So I'm going to give it an ID of right image like that. Now, a class would work just as well. I tend to use classes all the time, but you might see this in CSS files. So up here where we had a class, we've said p.fred. That's how to access and style a class. Now, to style an ID, we say img hash right image, just like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it float over to the right. And why don't we give it a border of uh, one pixel solid. And I'm going to make it a gray using this particular color format, uh, which you will get to know in good time. So there we are. So that's a gray. And why don't we add in a bit of padding Uh, and a margin only on the left hand side of four pixels. Okay, so it's a whole bunch of rules there and save that. So we're floating this to move it over to the right. We're putting a border around it. We're putting in some padding so that the border doesn't butt right up against the image. And we're putting a margin on the left hand side to keep the text away from it. Let's see how it works. There we are. And when it downloads, we will see that the text will wrap around the image just fine. There we are. Got a 2px border in between the image and the sorry 2px padding between the image and the border you've got the gray border just like i promised and then you've got a larger margin here to stop the text running into the box all the rest of the page is just the same you can use borders on all sorts of uh, items including tables to make them look just right so that's really the start of doing things with uh, with a um, moving things around. I'm going to show you a little bit more in the next video, and then I think you're really ready to run loose and see what you can create yourself.